it is very important that you understand the difference between static and uh, non-static or static and uh, instance methods and fields. Uh, here's a UML diagram. I'm not going to go through uh, all the details of this, but you do need to read right here. What I'm going to do instead is make merge sort. Or I'm going to make a new merge sort method that is non-static. The way I want it to work is create a new deck just like we did before. Uh, and then we'll print out the original d.print. Then here, I just want merge sort to actually modify the deck itself. Uh, currently, it doesn't. Uh, I'm going to comment all this out. That was the original test code ran the last video. All right, this method merge sort is not going to actually modify the deck D. So I'm just going to call it, I'm going to make a new method called merge sort me, maybe merge sort this. So I want this method to actually modify the deck itself. Uh, now, merge sort this is not a method that exists, so we'll go ahead and create it. You could uh, build it right here, create method, but it's going to put it at the bottom of this file, and I want to put it right above merge sort. So I'm going to just duplicate, shift it up. Now, this is merge sort this, and it's going to be a void. So I'm going to close up merge sort. I don't want to look at it right now. Let's merge sort, merge. All right. Selection sort, I want it to work like selection sort. So you just call it and it sorts the deck itself. All right, I could go through and basically redo merge sort, but instead, all that's really going to happen is you could, instead of creating this result, you could set this, doc, this equals deck merge. Uh, but because merge sort already works and I've already tested it, I don't want to dig in and start messing with it. So what we're going to do is set this equal to this dot merge sort. Uh -oh, cannot assign to this. Okay, just kidding. We're not going to do this. But we know there's only one variable inside that actually matters. We can't actually, and I had no idea you couldn't set this equal to something else. All we really need to do is change the cards. But I sort.cards. I didn't think I'd be able to access that either. I thought I'm going to have to do the get cards. There we go. All right, so this this dot merge sort, what I have highlighted, turns into a new deck that is sorted using merge sort. Then from that, I do the get cards, which gets the actual array of cards. All of this turns into a merge sorted array of cards. And then at the very end, I set this dot cards equal to the sorted version that we create. And hopefully that should just work. When I hit run, I think I'm using the big uh, size values. I'll just use the little ones instead. All right, so work for zero, work for one, two, four, yep, seven worked, and 10 also worked. Okay, so we just created a non-static merge sort. So I know that's tricky. Uh, if your object had a lot more 
meth a lot more fields you'd have to set other fields as well but luckily this particular uh deck really only has one private one field remember the rand is a static so it's shared between all decks so i didn't have to do any duplication anything to rand uh, but cards is what distinguishes one deck from another